Hey guys, um, today we will show you step-by-step -step installation of the auxiliary tank uh, for the older version of the KTM C90, the version without the ABS. It means the years 2008-2013. Yeah. If you will follow this install guide, uh, you should be able to, uh, to install the tank only with one pair of hands and you rather book one afternoon uh, to do it properly. And because we are speaking about connecting the auxiliary tank to the main tank, we highly recommend before you start to run out of the fuel in the main tank as much as possible. Because before the installation, and we advise rather to do it the night before, you need to completely dry uh, the main tank. Guys, the start is easy. First, you remove the seat. Uh, then here is one bolt, the second bolt. Here is the pin. So you take out the pin. Uh, you lift it like this and then you pull it out. The second step, uh, the airbox is on four bolts. Yeah? Here is one, second, uh, third, fourth. Yeah? Uh, so you remove these four bolts now. From, from the right side of the motorbike, uh, here is the radiator, yeah. Uh, so first you have to remove the radiator and then you can access uh, the bolt holding the airbox, yeah. And the one in the back, it's pretty easy accessible. So remove, remove them. Guys, you see here is the hole and there below, there is a, um, a bolt holding the, the airbox, yeah. So uh, you need to access it with longer tool and get it out. Now you remove the crankcase venting because it goes to the airbox. Uh, guys, on the left side, uh, there is also a tube coming from the airbox uh, to the SAS. So, um, because here is some clamp, so you take the, the pliers, yeah, you remove it, and then you take out the tube. Guys, next stage, uh, we need to lose uh, the sleeve, yeah, that holds. Uh, the airbox intake to the engine, yeah. So the bolt uh, is here, so you take a long screwdriver uh, and you release it, so you can move the sleeve. Now all bolts uh, and sleeves are um, away, yes, yeah? so in fact it's, it's holding now only on an on a intake flange. So take again the screwdriver, find where is the end of the flange and push it away and, and lift it up. Now you take out, make sure uh, all harness and tubes uh, are away and yeah here is here is the, the heat sensor yes yeah, so you have to also release carefully uh, the heat sensor connector yeah, and the airbox is out. Now we need to get out the temperature sensor. And you will use the original screws later, yeah? Guys, when you get the 690 uh, tank kit, uh, so what do you get uh, in, in a package from us? You get the tank uh, with the fuel cap, venting, uh, the brass outflow and, uh, and the heat shield. You get two uh, air filters from Twin Air. They are pre-oiled, yes, so you can directly install them. Uh, you will get uh, the so-called small airbox uh, with a cage and with a frame. You will get uh, the mounting hardware, and uh, these are and these are the holders for the older non-IBS version of the tank kit, yeah, because uh, the ABS version has a different holder, yeah. Uh, you need also for the non-IBS version to get this flange and, and sleeves and you get also the tubes. So in fact uh, you get everything you need and you can install it. Guys, now you take the flange, you can put the, the sleeves on but don't, they, they have to be very loose, yeah? otherwise you won't be able to insert it. Now you need to get it inside, yes, yeah, so uh, squeeze it with your thumb and put it inside. Yeah. yeah, it's there. Here is your, here is some mark that here is the, the middle, here is also the mark, so put it middle on middle. Yeah, and now you can tie it, um, the, the bigger sleeve. 
tight it but this is plastic yeah so you can over tighten yeah and then it gets damaged yeah let's say so you tight it but only into a situation when it doesn't turn around yeah this is enough now you prepare the tube guys now we take the temperature sensor the original screws yeah and um, just uh, bolt it on uh, and make sure uh, that this lock is from from this side guys before you mount the airbox you have to prepare a little bit uh, the wiring here yeah because the center cable it's uh, just the length we need yeah so you need to gain uh, as much space as possible so you this harness just press here a little bit and this put under the full line yeah this is this ensure enough space to be able to plug it in into the small airbox first you connect the sensor and then you insert the small airbox on the intake yeah here is the harness on this side so make sure you have space there you get in between the pins yeah and also you can press a little bit down the, the full line yeah and make sure you are well centered yeah and then you click it on yeah it's uh, it's there correctly now yeah you can do uh, the check control is that here the places for the pins has to be above uh, the frame for the air filter now you tie the sleeve holding the air box to the intake Guys, now you take the tank holder, the M6 by 12 and the, the, the nuts, M6. Yeah, and you bolt on to the same holes as the original airbox, yeah. Uh, what is good to go with the bolt from inside, yeah, because it doesn't wrap the, the tank. Just to explain, uh, the front holder sits on a tank like this. Here is a here is a place for it, yeah. And this one you will bolt again into the original airbox holes. One is one is here, and the second one is here. Guys, now you see there uh, the front holder. Uh, yeah, don't over tight. You need to keep there some flexibility because when you will be inserting the the tank. Uh, you need to move it there and back, yeah. Uh, guys, this is the output uh, from the SAS system, yeah. We need to connect it to the small airbox, yeah. So you take this tube also, but here is small diameter than here, yeah. So what we recommend, uh, you take the lighter and you heat up the end of the tube to be able to put it on. Now it's there, uh, you have here the original clamp, and secure it, now you mount, mount it back. Now you have to cut the tube more or less in this area and insert the T like this. Is there like this and now we connect um, to the crankcase venting we take the foam filter this is the this is the cage yeah so as you see here these corners and they go to the back. You, you put it on. You see here are the holes, so they are more or less aligned. Now you have to put it like this nicely. Nicely. Now you take the, uh, the frame. Try more or less to align the holes. 
Um, guys, now you put the washers and the long nuts and you finger tight only. To be able to enter the tank, you have to remove the seed lock. Now you prepare the strap. You go in between these two frame tu tubes uh, and make sure that from top you see nothing. And here is the Velcro itself. It doesn't go around the tank. It goes again here and you tighten it like this, so it's pressing the tank down uh, in the frame. Quite important one. You see here this uh, this clamp. It's pointing out towards the, the area of the tank, yeah? So take your pliers yeah, and turn it down, yeah? Because it could make a hole in your, in your tank. Um, guys, a bit of explanation how you will insert uh, the tank, yeah? With this front holder, because it's a little bit tricky. The thing is, uh, the holder sits here and uh, the full line is like this, yeah? Um, so when you are inserting it, yeah, first you put uh, the full line before the bracket, yeah? Uh, and put it out of the frame, somewhere here in this di direction. And then you bend a little bit in the, in the holder, uh, with the holder, yeah, so you can get inside and then you turn it into the position where it should sit. Important here is that you can still move a little bit uh, with the front holder, yeah? So I put it a little bit up. Yeah, I put there the, the, the fore line. The fore line is here on the side, prepared in the frame. Uh, yeah, and here it sits all a little bit in the back on the, uh, the rear holder, yeah? And now we take the strap. You tight uh, the tank. Now you take the, the small tube, you insert it here, you turn it in, uh, in the front. Uh, one explanation, yeah? You don't need to unplug the tube, yeah? When you want to take a fuel, yeah? You do it just like this, yeah? Uh, you don't have to remove it always. Yeah, and then again, you, you put it back like this, yeah? Just, just explanation. Uh, guys, now we take the, the seat lock again. Uh, you see the tube goes in between uh, these two bolts. And here is such a small metal holder. Yeah. Uh, what is also good, uh, you insert it from this side. Yeah. And now you now you bolt on wherever you want to position it. Now you cut it, I don't know, one centimeter above the, the holder, like this. Uh, you take the, the vent we supply yeah, and you insert it in, uh, in the tube. Now you put back uh, the radiator. Guys, now you take the, the petcock, the long M6 bolt and three spacers, yeah? First go inside the bolt, then three spacers, yeah? You remove the bolt from the brake liquid and, and then you, and you bolt on into the same hole. Yeah. We suggest more or less this angle. Guys, now you Cut the, the fuel line. Uh, you put on the, uh, the sleeves. Yeah. And you insert on the petcock. And now you put the, the second part of the, of the fuel line. You take out uh, the fuel pump gouge. Uh, here are small locks, plastic locks on both sides. So you just squeeze them. And now you can take out the, the upper cover. And now you hold the metal part. Be careful to take out uh, the plastic gouge. Guys, now take the spacer, um, remove the, the 
banjo and, and the bolt. Take the foil pump cover, uh, you put it on, and you don't need now the, the o-ring. Just remember, uh, the o-ring goes on the top, the big o-ring, and here is the original seal, yeah? And we need to drill a hole into the foil pump cover, yeah? So you mark through the outflow. Now you drill carefully eight millimeter hole, yeah? Uh, especially be, be careful, don't destroy the original seal. Um, the hole is done, yeah. And now put on the spacer. Um, put back the banjo, the bolt and the cooper washers. Yeah, it's very important, at this moment only finger tight. Yeah, and put also back uh, the big uh, the big o-ring. I'll take the M5 by 50 bolts, and you bolt on you bolt on the spacer to the to the foil tank. Now you tight all four bolts and carefully. Yeah, don't don't over tight. Uh, because it goes into your tank and if you damage the threads in the tank you are in big troubles. Now use the remaining part of the fuel fuel hose, insert it first on the, on the banjo bolt. Now put the sleeve on, on the banjo. Yeah, and also hey guys, uh, so if you were able to get up to this point, so congratulations because the installation is done. And you can start enjoying the extended fuel range, yeah, while keeping still the great and original handling of the motorbike, yeah. Uh, so now we wish you uh, a lot of good journeys with our auxiliary tank.